Hi, my name is Henry Sagerman. This is the pseudosphere. Uh, so as you might guess from its name, it's sort of like a sphere, or maybe the opposite of a sphere. So let me explain why. So here's a sphere, and a sphere has a constant positive curvature. So one way to, to talk about what curvature is, so if you choose a point on the sphere, and you sort of draw two lines at right angles through that point, and you see that those two, or well, those two curves, sort of curve in the same direction. They both curve inwards towards the sphere. Uh, in contrast, if you look at the pseudosphere, it's already got lines drawn on it. Um, so here's a line that goes down here, and then there's another one, a curve that goes across here, and those curve in opposite directions. And whereas the sphere has this uh, constant curvature positive one, uh, the pseudosphere has constant curvature negative one. Um, so they're all sort of uh, saddle points everywhere on the surface with the same negative curvature. So where does the shape come from? So this is, uh, you get this by uh, taking a curve called a tractrix, which is this, this curve along here, and then just revolving it around an axis. So you can see that it's just uh, rotationally symmetric. Uh, wh what is the tractrix? So the tractrix is the curve that you get by uh, starting with a, a weight on a string and pulling the string across to the side, and then you see where the weight goes. And so that's how you define the tractrix, and then, as I say, when you revolve the tractrix around an axis, you get the pseudosphere. This is the pseudosphere.